Hello, 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 internet. Uh, this is your favorite or soon to be favorite struggling YouTuber. And we are back. It's a Tuesday. It's another Tuesday, man. Uh, like I said, I'm going to drop another one. And today we're talking about the IFP. So I'm going to try and keep this very, very short. Because like when it's too long, like some of you are not interested in all these important stuff that are happening. So I'm just going to keep it to uh less than 10 minutes uh, less than seven minutes so let us go ifp in the freedom uh party uh I, I used to think it's a deben based uh political party but it probably is and uh yeah man uh now i'm just gonna talk about the uh 2019 uh manifesto so i have it on this screen so please pardon me for not giving you eye contact like at most uh, i'll be looking at the screen on the side uh, so i tried putting it on the screen directly there but <laughs> uh somehow it, it felt like it's too small so the screen this side it just feels better if it was this on this screen it, it would be uh, something but then yeah i uh, will maybe we'll try it some other time to put it on the right but yeah, uh, before we can start with this, I just want to say congrats to Wafana Wafana. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. the boys are waking, they're waking, they're waking over time. I actually watched that game, uh, yeah, all of it, and it was a great game. Uh, when we started, it was, I thought, yeah, that would be a miracle for Wafana to win. And yeah, indeed, it was a miracle. We, we really, really played. If the combinations work, use it, man. Yeah. I saw a lot of people talking about Sundance. You know, not yet to talk about that. I told you the Thursday, go and watch Thursday. Look out for <laughs> for a Thursday drop. Anyway, uh, in the freedom party, uh, it was led by Mangosutu Puteles, you know? and then he sadly passed away. And now the new leader is Rebel Valenko Sinifiki Sabisa. I think that is the president of the IFP at the moment. He, like after the passing of uh, Prince Mangosutu Botelet. So yeah, this party was on number I said number five. Is it? Uh, let me let me just quickly check. Yes, it was on number five, one, two, three, four. Oh no, not even number five. It was on number four. Sorry for that. It had like five hundred and eighty eight thousand eight hundred and thirty nine votes. Imagine. These these are the underdogs, man. Like yeah, it's pretty impressive. Uh yeah. For a party that size. Um uh, the RFP it's very well known, it's got a big history. Uh but okay, it's impressive and yet still disappointing like, i was expecting it to have like a two million uh, you know it dropped numbers like eff just got the end it, it's on almost two million these ones are still struggling to make and uh, six hundred thousand yeah the numbers the numbers talk it's not me it's the numbers anyway uh, so the ifp had like eight key points and those points are uh, growing economy, access to land, uh, social, a social care package, uh, which is health and welfare, health and welfare. Wow, tongue twister. Man. Then uh, human settlement, safety, security, and justice, uh, which is the crime, uh, crime-free society, education, gender equality, environment. So. You can you can go and just read up on this. This was back in 20, 2019. Uh, and of course, I said I was going to talk about 2019 manifestos because these manifestos were... These people ne, or these political parties, they were prepared to lead the country. So back then, 2019, this is what they brought forward. These are the promises that they made. And of course, a lot have changed. Like There were no 350s back then. Now there's there's three fifty grand. There wasn't like you know like there was COVID nineteen. Uh, so uh, nobody anticipated all these things. So back then, what were these promises that they made for South Africa? So these are the uh, eight 
key points. And they are basically, they were just saying that it is time for a government that, that walks the talk. Yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, there are too many dysfunctional uh, processes that make everything uh, take or to be too long to happen. So, talking about uh, from applying for a social grant to finding employment. Uh, so, this is what stands between us and freedom. This is according to them. So, if you go through their manifesto, which is three pages long. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, it's three pages long, but then, yeah, like, they, they did something. And <laughs> so, it doesn't really look like it's three pages, but then, yeah, it's three pages. So, it's readable. You know, it's readable. So, yeah, uh, that is... Uh, the IFP yeah, in a nutshell. I don't know if I should break these things down because it feels like I'm robbing you. It feels like I'm just uploading a video for the sake of uploading a video. And this thing is supposed to be educational or informative. At least. But then, yeah, man, what can we say? My name is Matt and let us learn.